Hello everyone, welcome to Kitu Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can install the Yoast SEO plugin in your WordPress website and do all the SEO settings to make your website stand out in Google search and rank in Google. So let's install the Yoast SEO plugin in our website. So for this I will go to the WordPress dashboard here and here I will go to plugins and I will click on add new and I can simply search for Yoast SEO. And here it is the plugin. So let's install this now. And if you want to install the Rank Math SEO plugin, then I have already made a dedicated video on Rank Math. So you can also check out that video. So let's install the Yoast SEO plugin here. So the plugin is installed now. So let's click on the Start Fast Time Configuration button here. Now the plugin will start analyzing the data for your website and it is already saying that we have already analyzed your site. So let's click on continue here and here you can set the site rep representation here. So if you are a person then you can select the person and if you want to operate it as a organization then you can select the organization here. So if you click on person here then it will show different set of options and if you select the organizations then it will ask you to enter your organization name so here i will select the organization here and here in the website name i have added the website name so by default it is taking the website name from our wordpress website and here you can set the organization name here and here you can set the organization logo and if this logo is not picking up then you can click on the select image here go to media library and select your logo from here now let's click on save and continue Now let's save here. Now it will ask you to enter your Facebook URL, Twitter URL. So you can enter your social profiles link here. You can enter your Facebook, you can enter your Twitter. So let me just enter Twitter here like this. And you can also add another URL and you can enter your Pinterest URL. You can enter your LinkedIn URL and then click on save and continue. Now here you will see this option Yoast SEO usage tracking so you can set it as no and you can also enter the email address and subscribe for the Yoast newsletter so I don't want to enter email address here. Now let's click on save changes here. Now let's go to the dashboard or you can register an account in Yoast. So I will go to the option visit your SEO dashboard and this is how the dashboard looks like and here in the left side you will see this option settings so let's click on here now it will show a pop-up like this so Yoast SEO recently introduced this new dashboard so you can play this video to learn more about it as well now let me just skip here now under the general tab here you will see this option side features and here you can enable the SEO analysis or not so you can make sure to enable this option as well and here you can also enable the readability analysis so this will help you optimize your on page seo of your blog post so make sure to turn on these options and here there is an one option inclusive language analysis so let's enable this one as well now scroll down and corner store content text link counter and link suggestions so this is a premium version so let's keep here and here you can enable social share so open graph data so it will show you the images in social media so whenever someone share your website link in social media it will show a image so that is called open graph image and the same as twitter card data and if your user is not using slack then you can disable this one and here you can also enable or disable the admin bar this is how the admin bar looks like so you can disable this one from here so let me just disable it. I don't need this one. Now here you can enable REST API and endpoint. So keep it as default. And here the Yoast SEO will automatically create a XML sitemap for your website. So you can view your XML sitemap from here like this. So here it is the post sitemap, page sitemap, category and author sitemap. So if you click on page sitemap here, it will show all the pages in your website. So let's click on save changes here. Now scroll off here. Now let's click on site basics. 
and here you, you can enter your website name here and here you can add a alternative website name so let me just copy my website name here and I can add my alternative like I will add a space here like that and here you can add a tagline here so I can copy any tagline from here so I can copy this one like decor your world with colors so I will keep it as tagline so I will paste it here and here you can add a title separator so I will prefer to choose this one so let me just show you so if you search for keto blogging in Google you will see this option keto blogging learn and earn with blogging so this one learn and earn with blogging is the site tagline and this is the title and I have added a separator this is how this settings work so you can add dot or any of the separator here so I will prefer this one and here you will see this option site image so whenever someone share your website in Facebook Twitter or any other social media platforms it will show a image so if you don't set a feature image in particular post or page then it will show this image as a feature image so you can select an image from here so I will click on here and I want to display this image as a feature image if the feature image is not available in that page so you can select set it as site image and let's click on save changes here now let's click on site representation and we have already set it in the beginning and here you can set the organization name here and you can set the alternative organization name like this and here you can add a organization logo so i can replace it with something else so let me choose this one like this and here you can enter your social media profile so let's click on save changes here now let's click on site connection and if you want to verify your website in bing then you can add the bing verification code right here and you can also verify your google search console by entering the search console verification code and in the same way you can verify your domain in pinterest by adding the pinterest verification code so you can use this in general site connection tab now let's click on the content type here and i will click on home page and it is saying that you can determine title and description for home page so i have added a custom home page that's why this settings is not showing so you can directly edit the whole setting from your pages so let me just show you so if i go to the pages here and i will go to the home page and i will click on edit then all the settings for home page will be available here so let me just close here and i will click on yoast here and here you can see that it will show the seo analysis so you can add some keyword phrase that you want to rank for so that it will show you the suggestions around that keyword and here you can see readability analysis and here you can see inclusive language and here you can track seo performance by entering the key phrase and here you will see google preview how it will looks in mobile or desktop and by default the title is set it like home clarify so you can remove some of this option here so i can remove this one separator and i will keep site title first and then i will insert the variable separator and then i will insert the variable tagline so i want to display my home page like this so i will keep my site name first then i will add the separator and then i will add the tagline now let's click on return to your page and you can see the facebook preview here or you can select a facebook preview image and i want to choose this image as facebook preview image so i will click on select and i can also set a custom title for facebook and i can set a custom description as well otherwise the meta description and site title will show up in facebook so i will click on return home page here and you can also set a custom image for twitter as well or it will take up the feature image for this page and here you can see the schema data so by default the schema data is set to web page 
so if this is a fake you page then you can select faq and if this is a profile page or if this is a contact page then you can select different options here so by default the web page is set and you can set the article type whether it is a article or blog post or it is a news article so you can set it according to your requirement so here i will select this option default for pages none and here you can set different advanced customization options so whether you want to index it or not so if you keep it as no then the search engine will not index that pages so i will set it as default and you can also set this option to whether the search bot will follow this link or not so uh, make sure to keep it as yes and you can also set like if you don't want to index your images within this page then you can select this option no image index but i will keep it as default and this is how the insights looks like in yoast seo so you can use these settings to customize your seo in wordpress so let me just update this page first and let's go to the main settings so i will click on post here so these settings will apply to all of the blog post in your website so as you can see that the first option show post in search results so if you turn off these settings then all of the post will not be indexed in google search that's why make sure to turn these settings on and you can also set the variables like first it will show the title then it will show the page separator and site title but i don't want to set this page here i will remove this one and i will set the title separator and site title here and you can also enter some variable for meta description as well if this is empty but i don't prefer to enter any variable here i prefer to write the meta description manually for each of the blog posts so i will leave this as blank and you can also select the social appearance but this is a pro feature so let's scroll down here and by default the page type is set to web page and if this is a different page then you can select different options so i will prefer to keep it as default and here in the article type if your website is a news website then you can select news article and if this is a blog post then you can select it as blog post so i will select the blog post option here and let's click on save changes now let's scroll up now let's click on pages so this will apply to all of the pages that we see in this section like your about us page contact us page home page now here you will see this option show page in search result so make sure to turn on this settings as well and here under the seo title i will also remove this pages here and i will keep it as title separator and site title and i will scroll down here i will keep the schema as default and all the default setting is works good so i will click on save changes now scroll up here now let's click on categories and tags so i will click on categories here and i don't want to show the categories in search result because in most cases it will create the thin content issue or duplicate content issues so i prefer to de index this category pages i only index the post and pages only and i will scroll down here and i don't need to change anything and i will click on save changes now in the same way i will deselect this option scroll down and save changes because i don't want to index the category and tag pages but in some cases in some type of websites you need to enable the category one but tags will be always up in all the websites now let's click on advance here and here there is a crawl optimization options but this comes with pro version so let's skip that now let's click on breadcrumbs here now under the breadcrumb settings you need to scroll down here and here you will see this option breadcrumbs for post type so let's click on here and i will click on category and i will scroll down here and i will click on save changes now scroll up and let's click on author archive and you can select this option so i will deselect this option so i don't want to index the author archive pages in google search that's why i have turned off this option now let's scroll down and save changes now let's click on date archive here and 
it also you you need to turn off the date archive options or you can turn on this option and just deselect the search appearance option so that the date archive pages will not be indexed in google search so by default it is turned off so there is no need to change in this settings now let's click on format archive and here as you can see that it is also turned off for google search and let's there is no need to change here there is special page like internal search page so you can set the variable for the title or you can set the variable for 404 so there is no need to change here as well now here you will see this option enable media pages so there is no need to enable these settings because wordpress does one thing that whenever you upload a image it will create a separate page for that but it will create a thin content issue that's why you don't have to enable this option so leave it as default and you can see the rss feed options so this is how the settings works in yoast seo and let's click on integration option here and here you will see this integration with semros and winsor and you can see different options so you can work with elementor you can work with zpack and yoast seo also work with woocommerce and it will not work with page builder like dv so if you are using dv then you can consider rank math as well and you can see other integration like word pool or mastodon so these are the integration options that we get in yoast seo plugin now let's click on tool option here and here you can see that there is some options like import and export suppose you want to import your data from rank math seo to yoast seo then you can use this option so let me just click on import and export here and here you can see this option import from other seo plugins and so if you install rank match previously then it will show up this option to import that rank match settings to yoast seo this is a important settings if you want to migrate from one seo plugin to other and you can see this option file editor and here you can create a robot.txt file for your website so that you don't have to use a separate plugin for robot.txt file so you can just click on create robot.txt file here and here you can manually edit your robot.txt file but i don't recommend to manually edit the robot.txt file for your website you can do all the settings here in the settings that you have set you can either index or no index post pages and everything but still if you want to use the robot.txt then you can use this option to de-index certain pages or add different rules in your robot.txt file and you can also see this option bulk editor option and here you can update the seo title for all of the pages here and you can also update the meta description for all of the pages so in this way you don't have to manually open each and every pages and change this title and meta description so you can do it bulk from here and you can change all the meta description here and click on save changes and it will change all the meta description for the above pages so this is how the bulk editor works so these are the all settings that comes with Yoast SEO plugin and if you want to use features like redirection then you have to consider the Yoast SEO premium so which is already free in rank math SEO so I have already covered a detailed video on how to set up the rank math SEO plugin so if you want to use that SEO plugin then you can watch the video the link will be given in the description so i hope you have set up your Yoast SEO plugin in your wordpress website and do all these SEO settings in wordpress so if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and i will see you in the next video thank you